New Year's Day. And I hope that you're having a great day. And I can't wait to share with you what I'm making today on Crock-Pot Wednesday. And this is my New Year's Day edition. So stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome. I hope you're enjoying this day. And let's get started. I'm going to share with you my New Year's tradition that I make every single day since I was a married girl. My grandma, my great grandma, my great great grandma made the same traditional meal every New Year's Day. So while our food is cooking, I have some apples because I'm working on making some apple juice. And here, girls, here, chick, 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 chick. Come on. The chickens love apples and they love scraps. And I love to share with them all of the food that I have in my kitchen, all of the scraps of apples. So it's New Year's Day. What are you guys doing today? Now, of course, as you watch this, it's Wednesday, and so you already had your New Year's celebration. So many people talk about New Year's resolutions. I really don't do New Year's resolutions because I feel that every day should be like a new year for you. Of course, I have hopes and dreams, don't all of us? And I have things that I aspire to do, my life and challenges. But I don't have New Year's resolutions. As you know, I have a word. And I have words every year. I like the use of words. Because you don't really fail when you use a word. Because your word can inspire you every single day. So if you fail one day, you can get up. You can start all over. <laughs> so what's going to happen in 2019? I don't know. It sure is exciting. I look at you as a wonderment of a child. I have a personality of a child. One of the most endearing comments people have ever given me was, Tessie, you're so childlike. So many times people tell me that and they feel embarrassed in saying that and they think that they're going to hurt my feelings. But in fact, I love when they say that. I love when they say I'm so childlike. It makes me feel good inside because they're right. I am very childlike. <laughs> I'm a child in a grown woman's body. In fact, in two weeks, I'm going to have a birthday. I'm going to be 49 years old. Somehow, my personality doesn't quite match with my age. Hmm. I wonder if it ever will. <laughs> Maybe when I'm 80, I'll act like I'm 80, but I kind of doubt it. Did you know one of the, my real biggest goals in life are I would like to live to be a hundred years old. Yes, you heard me right. I want to be a hundred years old. And more important, I would like to be on YouTube my whole life. No matter what I'm doing, what I look like, my handicaps or my disabilities, or I hope that I continue my whole life to be, and I hope to continue my whole life to be as as good as a shape I am now. You know, some people are. Some people are very energetic up until the time they die. My grandma Fanny, which literally is my husband's grandma, did you know she drove a car at age 92? She actually was very well up until three months before she died. That's how I want to be. I want to be a go get em girl up until my very last days. Only time will tell. Who knows? I don't know if we'll have YouTube that long. Sure would be nice now, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, whatever you were doing on New Year's Day, I hope that you have hope in your heart. My one granddaughter's middle name is Hope, and my other daughter, granddaughter's middle name is Joy. I hope you have joy in your heart and hope in your heart, 
for this next year. I'm sure all of us are going to face some times in our life that are very down this year. And I'm sure we're all going to face some things in our life that are very happy. But just remember, you know, there's always a rainbow at every end of every storm. And sometimes in life it takes the rain to make the rainbow. Let's get started. And I got my pork and I only paid $3.78 for this pork and I got this two days ago. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to take the pork out of its wrapper. We eat very little pork here, but we do have pork every once in a while for something special. New Year's Day is a family tradition and that goes way back into our bloodline, way back into our ancestors. Um, Fanny, her mother, her grandma always had pork and sauerkraut. This is a German tradition and something we hold value to every year. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off the netting because how I'm going to make it, I don't need that. So we have a crock pot. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our pork in the crock pot. In the crock pot. This is such a simple meal and everybody knows how to make it. But this is New Year's Day for me. So I'm filming this on Tuesday and you're going to see it on Wednesday. I have my very own sauerkraut that I made, but I'm not going to use it because I have some sauerkraut that I have stored over a year. And this is an older, so we need to use up our old stock before we use up our new stock. And this I got over a year ago for a dollar at the discount grocery store. So we're going to use up this because this is older stock. So we're going to put the sauerkraut in. Yum, yum. If you don't like sauerkraut, then this New Year's Day tradition would not be very good for you. All right, see you in a little bit. So my apple juice was a success, and I'm going to have an upcoming video on it. I just did a little bit just to see how it would turn out. And now I'm going to show you our plate of food. We have mashed potatoes, buy the potatoes that I got free, and we have sauerkraut, that was a dollar. The pork was less than four dollars. And here's our meal with some sweet potato. Looks pretty good and I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year's. So we're reading from Fanny's diary and now we're in 1943. January 1st, 1943. It was cloudy. Grandma Grove and Uncle Martin Grove were here. We had pork and sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. Hmm, that sounds a little bit like me, doesn't it, everyone? Now we're on January 2nd, 1943. Today was snowing and sleeting. I painted the upstairs steps. Marion was in bed all day. I'm guessing little Marion didn't feel so good. She must have had the flu. like to this week's crock pot Wednesday and if you enjoy the crock pot recipes look below I have all of my links in one playlist I spent a couple hours the other day putting all my playlists together just for you so it's at an easy location right here below is my playlist of all of my crock pot meals I've made in the last two years so I hope you enjoyed them I can't wait to see you tomorrow and God bless and take care bye <laughs> <laughs> Friends, it's been another great day here on the homestead. I hope you're staying warm and I hope you have a real good night. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!